I don't have an intro, but as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be talking about how I use my planner. So, this is my planner. This is my one and only baby, and I've been on this same planner system since 2017. As you can see, wow, since grade 11 and right now I'm a sophomore in college and I think it's been sticking to me ever since because it's plain and simple. I don't have time to make something like a bullet journal so if you're like me maybe this video can help you. These planners have been saving my life since I was 17 and I'm turning 20 now and it's been helping me organize my life my thoughts and feelings, my to-do list. And having a planner is really important, either digital or physical, however you want it, just as long as you have something that will help you keep track of your life, your to-do list, and etc. So I used to get my planners from Muji in 2017-2018. It's really nice. But this year, I wasn't able to get this same planner because I ran out of stock. So I got this planner. If you're from the Philippines, it's from National Bookstore. And it's a really good dupe of the Muji planner because it really looks exactly the same. The brand Compass or Compera. And I think this was like 200 pesos or less. It literally also has the same weekly layout, guys. So... Yeah. <laughs> what am I doing? So ever since 2017, I like getting planners that have this kind of weekly layout and a blank page for me to write anything or put anything at the right page. I also like having monthly layouts, but I don't really use that part of my planner. <laughs> And it also has a pocket, but I also use a digital planner like I said earlier, and I use Google Calendar. For writing materials, I just use a plain black pen, Zebra Sarasa, but I'm thinking of changing it because kind of pen doesn't have refills. So I just keep buying buying a new pen, and that's not really good for the environment. If you have recommendations of good black pens that don't bleed and is good for left-hand people, Please comment down below. I also like to use highlighters and brush pens for color coding and designing my planner, which I'll talk about more later. Okay, so let's get down to business. How do I exactly use these planners? And for digital, I like to use Google Calendar and so do a lot of my friends. And I like to put the bigger deadlines or bigger events rather than putting it in the monthly overview in my planner because in that way it's easily accessible to me on my phone if I'm on the go because I don't because I'm not holding my planner 24 7 so it's good to have an idea of what's gonna happen to me in a month using Google Calendar like I said bigger deadlines such as final exams, midterms, long exams, or long tests if you're from the college in the Philippines, and family or school events I have to go to, or what kind of YouTube video I want to post this week. I also, I also like to color code this, and I'll just put my color code system down here to make it look more organized and nice, of course. And what's nice about this app is that Google also pre-enlists all the holidays that you don't have school on for you already so august has a lot of holidays in the philippines so that's fun and now for my planner like i said this is the one i use for the weekly layouts and to-do lists rather than monthly and i put the smaller deadlines here like homework seat work smaller requirement or to-do list in studying or completing a homework. But I still put the bigger deadlines in the weekly layouts as well. So there's like two things double checking me that so that I don't forget the big deadlines, guys. So number one, create a legend that will make your planner more easy to look at or more simple. Like me, you can create a color coding system or also make signs that will pertain to certain kind of deadlines or events and then using these colors i just use my stabilo highlighter and highlight <laughs> 
what else? Joke. And for my daily task, I put a box and then I'll just check it after I do it. Or some people make a box or circle then shade it, but I like using a check mark. And for simple reminders, I like to use two dashes at the first and end part of the phrase, like like a reminder for a family event to go to, or it's a start of signing up for something on that day. Okay, number two, I like to write down tasks or deadlines immediately or in advance. Usually for me, I like to be, I like to write down deadlines at least two weeks in advance. If not, I wrote write down everything based on the syllabus deadlines my prof gives me. So yeah, it's important to take down the deadlines as soon as possible, as soon as the prof tells you to. You might forget it after class, like. During class, you'd be like, oh, I remember this, but the prof keeps talking and talking and then at the end of class, you might just forget when the deadline is. So this leads to my next step is to divide your bigger tasks into smaller tasks. Big circle, small circle. Oh my gosh, I hate myself. Helps me a lot because number one, after you see that deadline, as soon as you write that, you would be able to see your how your next few weeks will look like and you'd get an overview so that you would know how many more days or weeks you would have left before you have to submit that thing. And number two, since you'll be getting an overview of the next few weeks you'll have, you'll be able to see which days it's best for you to work on that task before you submit it. Because in college, most likely every week, professor will throw a new deadline every single week. Sometimes it could get overwhelming, so by keeping track of all your deadlines and making sure you'll have smaller tasks that will lead to that bigger task, you'll get assured that you're working on every single deadline you have for the next few weeks and you won't have to cram it. If a certain deadline is given a lot of weeks in advance, there's a chance that when the time comes already, you'll forget that there's actually something due in that week. So basically, it's best to keep track of your deadline so that you have time to breathe each time you complete a small task. Okay, so basically an example, a short essay paper due on Friday and then what I did is before Tuesday or by Tuesday, I have to be able to gather my thoughts and what I want to say in that paper, make an outline and then on Wednesday, I'm gonna start working on the paper and by Thursday, hopefully I'm either finished with it and I just have to make a few corrections on the grammar or edit it or I'm halfway through it because I started working on it the other day and Wednesday and finish it by Thursday night and then print it and then submit it on Friday. Yay! Okay, so last part of this video. Sorry. Oh gosh. <gasps> I ran out of memory. Okay, bye. Lastly, like I said, I like having a planner that has a weekly overview but also a blank page for me to put anything on the right side. So what I do is I make use of the blank page here for creativity. In the midst of all this enormous deadlines and to-do lists, at least I don't entirely hate my planner guys. I like I look forward to something every single week yeah, so that I don't get sad that my planner is just full of deadlines 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 go school so yeah it's usually at the end of the week that i make use of this i give myself some breathing room from all the school requirements and take an hour working on it because i used to be an art student guys but now i'm a capitalist major <laughs> joke now i'm a marketing major so it's still on the same path guys. I still want to be creative <laughs> in the midst of all the accounting classes, calculus classes, information technology classes. I want to make art guys. And yeah, so so what I like to do is write down everything that happened to me. Not everything, like the memorable things or things that I remember basically that happened to me in that week. So I fill this part with creative doodles cute designs, cute colors. So yeah, I've been doing this what happened to me in that week thing 
since 2017 look guys and I can say guys that I have really improved in how I do the what happened to me in a week because my doodles in 2017 are so ugly I'm really glad I do this guys because when I'm old and saggy I would really appreciate my 17 year old self for starting that kind of planner spread weekly so yeah I also like to stick stuff using oh using what using <laughs> sorry I like to stick stuff using um washi tape like random papers random letters random receipts that make me remember what i bought or what i received or what i did on that day like cinema tickets or bus tickets so how i design my weekly spreads is honestly super random but at least to make it semi-cohesive i like to pick from my highlighters at least three to four colors that i would use to design that weekly spread oh see this is when i received 10,000 subscribers thank you guys but right now i'm on 13,000 subscribers thank you guys for subscribing to me and yeah so actually that's the end of my video so thank you guys for watching i hope i helped you and i hope you like my planner setup oh, my dog is so loud okay Oh my gosh. <laughs>